Bradley. I am the Advocacy Program Director at REACH Counseling, and we're here to talk about Take Back the Night, which is an annual event here in Oshkosh where we, along with Christine Ann, um, plan an event to raise awareness on sexual and domestic violence in our community. This year, the event will be on October 2nd at 5 p.m., and we're actually doing something a little different this year. We are moving the event off of campus and bringing it into the Oshkosh community. So on October 2nd, you can find us at Beckett's in the ballroom down the hall from the restaurant, and we'll have all of our same activities and um, speakers and call to action rally before we take the march out onto the streets. We're starting obviously from a different point, but we'll still be um, going past the Christine Ann Domestic Abuse Services and um, taking a moment of silence there. We'll continue to loop around um, to past the courthouse and then we'll end up at Beckett. So we won't actually be downtown, but the route will be pretty similar to um, years past. My name is Alicia Garrig and I am the Community Outreach Coordinator at Christine Ann Domestic Abuse Services. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and it's really a month dedicated to bring awareness to really what is domestic violence. A lot of individuals think that domestic violence is just physical violence but there is so much more um, that goes into really what domestic violence is. So this is an opportunity, it's a month to really spread awareness on what that looks like and how you can get involved and really if it's happening to you or someone you may know how you can help support that person. So that's really what Domestic Violence Awareness Month is about is just to bring light to the topic. Um, it is something that not a lot of people like to talk about. It's, it's a hard and heavy topic so it's something that um, we want to bring light and awareness and it's a really important issue. Take Back the Night was an event that began back in the 70s and it's kind of become an international event and awareness raising event um, around the world. Started after a woman was murdered and um, raped in I believe Pennsylvania, maybe Philadelphia in the 70s. So there was this outcry of this needs to end, this type of violence can't continue. So that's kind of how Take Back the Night rallies got started. And we've been having one here in Oshkosh since 1990. So it's been going on a really long time and we hope the community will come out and continue to support this cause. So we are going to be here in the ballroom. You can see behind us, it'll probably be set up pretty similar to this. It's gonna be a beautiful event this year. And we're really hoping a lot of community members join us. Um, the, part of the reason we're moving it off of campus and into the community is over the last few years folks that come regularly may have remembered we started taking registration and what we learned through registration is that we're only getting a few dozen community members maybe coming out to the event and Reach and Christine Ann had some conversations that it's really important for us to reach more folks that live and reside here in Oshkosh. So we're really hoping that with the event being brought more into the Oshkosh community, we'll draw more residents of the city and can engage more folks in the services we provide and maybe even how they can get involved. It's a family-friendly event. You know, parents might want to use discretion depending on the ages of their um, young ones because we typically do have speakers that cover issues related to violence. Um, so they, it can be their discretion if they would like to maybe take them um, out of the room for that portion, but there'll be activities in the beginning, um, things where you can create your own posters. Um, different agencies will have different activities that families can partake in. So we hope that you're able to join us um, and the community is able to join us on October 2nd um, this year at Beckett's starting at 5 p.m. and we're going to have a great night. It's going to be a new venue, something really fresh and we just really hope that people are able to come out and support our organizations and support the cause and stand up against domestic and sexual violence. And we know with our new venue, it looks really nice and beautiful in here, but we want to make sure people know that it is a come as you are event, no need to get dressed up. It's, you know, everyone is welcome to participate in this event, and we hope that people come out. Mm -hmm.